going on guys welcome back to of course yet another weekly episode just before you get to anything make sure to smash the subscribe button that's number one number two make sure to check out send it official merch the links in my bio i've also got a 10 percent discount code in the bio bio as well sa3 tv 10 so make sure to check them out all right guys so we are obviously of course in the car just want to kind of talk about something so i got asked a question not long ago um one of, one of my followers actually because bro how do you live with a car like that as a daily because as you guys know my s3 is a daily um because obviously as you guys know it is straight parked obviously with a valve system um and the question really got to me a little bit i thought to myself you know what i haven't really told you guys or even asked myself do i actually after because i've owned the system by messini so messini are the company that actually did my exhaust system for the guys that keep constantly dming me asking me their links in my bio as you guys know, for the people that actually know me personally, this S3 sounds ridiculous. I mean, this thing lets alarms off for fun. I'm driving normal, valves open, it lets alarms off. It's no joke, but it's the best of both worlds. But do I actually regret uh, having this system? I'll be honest with you guys, it's a yes and no. But before I talk about the yes and no factors, I wanna show you guys, for the people that are obviously, of course, new to my channel, this is basically what it sounds when it's a neutral, um, for valves open and valves closed. Right, guys, so this is for the people that are obviously, of course, new to my channel. Um, the exhaust I got done was by Messini, like I mentioned a couple of, couple of seconds ago. Uh, probably one of the best, the best, the best exhaust people, fabrication people in the UK at the moment. That's my personal opinion. I know for a fact these boys are going to, they're going to change the game. Um, trust me when I say they're going to change the game. I've experienced a lot of exhaust systems. I've got to hear a lot of exhaust systems. There is nothing like what these boys have created. So as you can see in my hand, this is the fob system that they give us, or they give me any for the valve system that I've currently got in my car. Um... So let's obviously, let's kind of give it a go. Let's start the car first. It's, uh, so obviously that's, that's it. I'm gonna leave it in comfort because the problem is in dynamic, it's way too loud and it's, I don't want to disturb anybody. So let's get to it. Right, so as you can hear, valve's closed, valve's open. That's a serious, serious change and valve's closed. Right guys, so as you heard that um, <laughs> insane difference between the valves closed and valves open. So I'm gonna start off with, of course, the nose on why I'm not much of a huge fan of, obviously, the system. As I said, it's a yes or no. So I'll start off with the nose first. Number one, as you guys know, this car is my daily. I take it everywhere and anywhere. And I think the number first thing is the obnoxious drone right and i'm not cussing it out i'm not saying it's really bad but over time i kind of think with <laughs> with drone you do get to an extent occasionally not all the time but occasionally where it does get a tad annoying it has annoyed me in the past maybe once or twice not all the time because yes you guys know me i like crazy i am crazy so i like to take things to a whole different level when it comes to the exhaust system that's the first thing and i think also not not only with that um, I've sat in cars before that are so drony that you cannot even hear yourself think it's so bad that I remember once I sat in a completely straight piped car old fashioned car completely modified and I had an absolute horrible headache coming out of it and sitting in this because you can make this car a daily very easily with a straight pipe system as long as you cut the cold start you'll be all right trust me and you've got a light foot and i think that that's probably one of the main things that i do kind of like, like oh, it's a bit of a shit thing to have and i think the other thing with obviously this system is i think when i mentioned a second ago about the cold start uh yeah if you need to seriously have a cold start delete because i will say even with the valves closed, it's quite loud. Um, it, I have, if you guys check out my Instagram, I made a little video on when I was at work and I started the car after about a couple of hours, obviously it was cold, it let an alarm off. Boys just started the car and it's just let an alarm off. 
in with the valves closed so that is seriously something to kind of really consider getting so a cold start delete is something i would highly advise you to do it's definitely something to do there's not many faults i can say about the system that mazzini did honestly i love these boys these guys, these guys look after me with the price obviously getting it done when i when i when i wanted it to be done honestly they they their my expectations of them was on, was just here they completely passed it by miles off so i rate them massively make sure to go check them out in my bio i'm not sponsored by them none of that stuff you know they help me out they look after me and that's what customer service is all about and the reason why i'm actually making this video is before you guys because i get so many dms so many dms on a weekly basis on my exhaust system i get a lot of people saying that i want to come see the car who is it done by etc etc what how much it costs what's it like living with blah 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 this is something i want to talk to you guys about today what's it like living with and i think there's not many faults i can talk about with the system as you guys know it's a valve system it has a fob i think the third thing the third thing i don't like is the fact that okay the fob is a it's a nice feature to have with the car it kind of makes it very cool for people who don't really know much about it it's quite a cool feature but i do kind of miss the whole feature of do doing it through the mmi system uh, kind of putting it dynamic and doing it automatically but i don't think that's something they can do now i think that's something they could do later on down the line as they are a brand new company um i will say that's probably the only nose i kind of have for this system in particular i think living with it as a daily love it i f love it and for the people that don't like it complain about it go f yourself simple as that you know you know me but you know me guys i take things to a whole different I'm going to take this car to the moon. I wanted loud. Mazzini definitely exceeded my expectations when it came to loud. But honestly, I cannot fault them. Right, so now we are going on to the yes factors. As you guys know, this system is on a whole different level. Now we're gonna go on to the yes factors of the system. So number one, the best system I have ever had in my entire life. It sounds absolutely bonkers. It sounds like no other two liter turbo. Don't even at me on this, right? People have actually heard my car. You guys know for a fact, it does not sound like a two liter turbo. It doesn't sound like a four port engine. In fact, it has a very, very, very deep tone, which I love, right? That's the first thing. The second thing is the fact that it lets alarms off for fun. For, like I said, again, for the people that actually know me, who have been in the car with me, that can vouch for me, I can drive normal with the valves open and still let an alarm off. That's where the buzz is. That's what I love the most. And the, for the some people that actually think, think to themselves like, this guy's a little bit off his nut, why would you want a car like that, right? I want a car that I can have best of both worlds with, right? I want something that I can have as a daily, and not only that, I can also enjoy, but with a lot of noise. And I think a lot of people don't seem to understand that. And I think, like I said, I get a lot of questions on what it's like as a, as a daily with valves open. It does get a little bit annoying, I will be honest with you, but that's what makes the car fun. That's what makes the car my car this is what sa3 sa3 this car represents the channel right i love this system so much i would not fault it in any single way right so uh the first second thing let's go on to the last thing about the exhaust system which i do like a lot which is the fact that it stands out very very well i have a four inch i have four inch tips on the system um at first i think i mentioned this in the vlog previously was the fact that it still has the OEM look. A lot of people will say it doesn't, but I, I, I live with it daily. It looks like a fucking bone stock S3, except from the back. And not only that, when I put my foot down. When I put my foot down, all hell is let loose because this thing will blow. It is so quick and so loud. 
that I think to myself like there's you can't fault these cars you just cannot it does everything so perfectly it's real. but honestly I cannot genuine genuinely I cannot fault this system I really really can't and I think if you guys are looking for something that is genuine a, a company that is genuinely good and actually does things properly and takes and exceeds your expectations when it comes to mod modifying your car exhaust system any sort of fabrication forged works Messini are the people to go to I'm telling you I am telling you now they are the people to go to as you guys know I'm at my oh see this is the only thing I don't like I've got to find the fob that's number one you see it's all right I open the valves right I am in so normal fourth gear and it's quite so if I shut the window right oh I better be careful actually there's someone here I don't want to annoy anybody uh, right so if I put my foot down a little bit, so if I downshift it down to second to drive, to second gear, there is a lot of vibration in the seat. And that's because it's because the car's not, it's not, it's a sport bag. The width is not big compared to the saloon. I've sat in a saloon car, done with the same system. It's totally different, right? And that's probably one thing I will also add on to the nose is that, vo that vibration. I don't like that. But when you put your foot down, it's <laughs> oh. I can't fault it. Cannot fault it. Not my problem. I'm getting a dirty look, but you know what? Right, where are we going? Are we taking things to a whole different level as per usual? Yeah. Right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that was kind of informal. on this channel right the energy when it comes to the exhaust system the car in general is different nobody can match it there is nobody who can match it right now at the moment you can't period it's as simple as that but i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to smash that subscribe button i hope you guys enjoyed you guys know me i'm a bit of a nutcase it is what it is i hope you guys enjoyed of course make sure to smash that subscribe button and also don't forget to check out send it official merchandise 10 percent off the link's in my bio. My discount code is in my bio. Everything's there for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed for, of course, the weekly the weekly uploads. I do have some cool cars lined up. I definitely have one interesting car that actually should be coming very soon. Uh, this car, you, some of you guys will, will not know. Let's just say uh, it's a supercar killer. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Stay tuned for next week's episode. But I just want to say one thing though, before we end off the vlog, do I regret the system in general?